screw it like that man of letter letter to jack he said i have seen for scarcity passport booklet scarcity dollar scarcity another form of scarcity in my lifetime never thought the day would come that our weakness naira scarcity in nigeria <laughs> well uh you know with the naira scarcity that is happening currently although i do not feel i do not think they are actually naira scarcity I just feel like there are some people out there, some element who have access to this uh, new Naira notes and they were holding it. Of course, you know, the EFCC has already, ICPC EFCC has embarked on a new program to arrest those individuals, banks that are holding uh, Naira notes. Now, what they do is now is uh, they sell this new Naira note to Nigerians because of the scarcity they hold it and sell it to Nigeria so I won't say is the federal government or the scarcity of Naira I will say human beings in Nigerians Nigerians are just being wicked the human being in Nigeria are just being wicked because that is all we know how to do we want to use every little opportunity to extort ourselves like the POS, of course, you guys know POS. The POS bought uh, uh, this POS point around. They now, if you want to withdraw the sum of 5,000 Naira, new Naira notes, they're going to charge you 1,000 Naira for 5,000 Naira notes. 1,000 Naira for 5,000 Naira for new Naira notes. And again, our mothers in the market, they are not familiar. They do not have the means for customers to use card. You know, I prefer using my card to pay for services. I prefer using my ATM card. And our mothers in the market do not have that means to have a POS per chain. Because the government are trying as much as possible to move to a cashless uh, society, but it will be extremely difficult because of uh, uh mothers out there because of some people who are not educated enough who have we, have we still have a long way to go we have a lot of a program education that we need so that we can move to that cashless society where we do not really need cash anymore with our card swipe and everything we can easily get transaction done and again our business our bank institution needs to also upgrade because even with the first scarcity and everything, if you and the uh, Naira, new Naira no scarcity, if you go to a first station or to PO, uh, to first station to buy uh, foil, the POS might decline. And in a very sane society, we are moving from this cash to a cashless society. They do not really need PO, POS machine to be declining payment. So we have a lot of declined payments. So I think the CBN need to deal with that. First, deal with the internet coverage and everything before okay, saying, okay, we are moving to a cashless society. You do not really need cash anymore with your card. You can get your transaction done. Because we buy things in the market. Our mothers out there, people selling the market do not have a POS. The easiest thing you can do now is transfer. You transfer on your phone with your app. And the checkout, uh, you know, I saw a lot of videos in the bank and uh, we saw how customers were fighting to get money. It's believed she is in collusion with the key element in the financial service sector diverting the newly released notes from the bank hall and payment China into the black market. She is currently in ICPC detention and helping the commission with its findings on the criminal trading of the naira and the attendant uh, scarcity and the negative economy and outcomes being caused by the action how can you be holding naira notes 
Naira is not meant for Nigerians. We are in Nigerians. It's not as if we are in another country and we are looking for Naira notes. We are in Nigeria and the CBN has made this Naira note available. But we create artificial scarcity by holding this Naira note. All those things are being done by the bank. By the bankers. The bankers are the number one 419 their old boys and scammers that we need to eradicate. So many bankers out there, they have this asset, but because to make quick gain, they would rather hold it and sell it. Well, not just hard though. I still believe there are a lot of people out there, but this will definitely ruin our name and actress. A Nigerian Hollywood actress <laughs> selling Naira notes on social media with impunity. She didn't even think about okay, if I get caught, what what will happen to me? Like you already know this Naira note is causing a lot of havoc and you decide to be selling it. And not just that, I think the ICPC should to move around. It's unfortunate that Nigeria will need force to be able to do the right thing. It's unfortunate that we need to be forced. We need to be punished. We need to be arrested. We cannot ordinarily look at our neighbor and be like, you know what, I love you just the way I love myself and I do not want things to be hard for you so I won't hold this Naira note. When I hear, when I see some comments, people will be like, oh, it's my money. I know what to do with my money. I can decide to keep it. We understand. But when you are keeping, like, it's understandable when you get some, uh, when you have some few hundreds of thousand kept in your house. Of course, you're going to use it. But when you have millions or hundreds of thousands kept in your house, the new Naira note, that is so uncalled for. At least if you have 500,000 new Naira note kept in your house, it's understandable. But from 600,000, 1 million, 10 million Naira, new Naira notes, what are you using it for in your house? What are you using it for in your house? What? What? Are you a kidnapper? What are you using it for? We understand it's your money. You can do whatever you feel like you do with your money. But this is not the time. This is not the time. People be... People be really acting crazy. We do not like ourselves. I don't like ourselves before. I do not think there's any scarcity. I, it's just wicked Nigerians and the bankers who are into this kind of stuff are making life really, really difficult for Nigerians. Really difficult for Nigerians. And you forget. As soon as you take 1,000 Naira pie, 5,000 Naira new Naira note from a customer, the customer who has a business will increase his price so that he can make or she, he or she can make that loss of 1000 naira he's going to add it to the market or his service and when it's added it's not going to add the does that 1000 naira it will assume he paid 3000 naira for that 5000 naira so it's going to increase it more than that 1000 naira and you will come back again to buy from those market women and the price will increase. You are indirectly hurting yourself. You are indirectly making life difficult for yourself. But you do not know. Because if I sell for you higher price, you have some form of services that you will be rendering to someone and you, you will definitely increase your price as well. So it goes around in cycle. Why don't we apply the common knowledge like, okay, love your neighbor as yourself and things will be easy. Things will be so easy for us, but there is no love. We have to see if we love each other in this country, but honestly, there is no love. There is no love in our hearts. There's no love in our heart. We want every opportunity to scam our neighbors, to make life difficult for our neighbors, and we forget it's going to come back to us again. You cannot live alone in this world. You cannot exist alone. You must buy something. You must give person. You must render service to someone. You must hand salary. And it goes around it. It goes around. It's, it's just like this, uh, how am I going to call it? This cycle of life. It goes around. If you treat your neighbor bad, your neighbor will treat another person bad. 
or that other person will treat another person bad and it's going to come back to you again. So the cycle, the wickedness keep going around. And you think you are you are you have escaped. No, you have not.